Hello, my name is Michael Rexford from CCG, and today I will be talking about the process of modeling customer churn with IBM's SPSS modeler, and how that model can be used in customer retention efforts. While churn models are generally thought of in the context of subscription services, many companies now have customer loyalty programs, which can be used to detect when customers stop using a company's services. Today we will be working with transaction information that any loyalty system will have. Customers who do not have any transactions in a six-month period are considered to have churned. We have information from the first quarter of the previous year for 30,000 customers, approximately 18% of which churned, representing a quarterly loss of over $600,000 in revenues. The data was split into training and testing sets to create and evaluate several models. For this task, we tried four common modeling techniques, CART, logistic regression, C5.0, and a Bayesian network. Ultimately, the Bayesian network was the best performer, so its predictions were output to an Excel file for further analysis. The model outputs a score from 0 to 1, indicating the customer's propensity to churn. I used these scores to split customers into three groups, high, medium, and low risk to churn. We then split customers into three approximately equally sized groups, gold, silver, and bronze levels, based on the revenue they produced in the previous quarter. We've created a simple report to quantify the quarterly effects of churn on these customers. Here, we see the gold level, our best customers, are most likely to churn. This would be worrying for any company, but this gives us an opportunity to target the most valuable customers specifically in an attempt to retain their business. Next, I created a tool to calculate the effects of sending the top spending high-risk customers a coupon to let them know the company appreciates their business. This allows you to determine the cost of the retention effort, the value of each group, and the expected return on investment from the campaign. In this scenario, we created a $10 coupon, which costs 50 cents to print and mail, and we expect a relatively conservative 20% response rate. Then, if it was sent to our top three groups, we can expect an ROI of over 25 to 1. This is the true power of churn models. They not only allow you to identify customers who are most likely to leave, but they allow you to quantify the costs of attempting to retain them and optimize your efforts to minimize costs and maximize retained value. I hope this has given you an idea of how churn modeling might be able to help your business.